legend sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll call it kind of golden. friends I hope you're having a great day I just woke up and made my breakfast this is the green juice that I make every single morning I woke up this morning and thought I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day I've put off making this video for so long because I feel like I eat pretty boring like I make so much fun and crazy food for work that when it comes to feeding myself I'm just like plain Jane simple but today I'm gonna take you through what a typical day in my life eating wise looks like if you're new to this channel and we have not met yet my name is Nicole I'm originally from Washington State I lived in California for six years and then I recently moved to Nashville almost just about a year ago I bought a house and there's tons of videos on my channel explaining why I left LA and the whole process of becoming a first-time homeowner, moving to Nashville, all the vlogs, all the things. So if you like travel and if you like moving and home decorating stuff, check out the other videos on my channel. But I'm glad that you found my page. So drop a comment and let me know how you found my channel, where in the world that you live, and any other videos or suggestions of things you'd like to see on this page. I am so hungry. So we're gonna sit down here and get to this breakfast. So you saw me make it. But typically every morning I start with eight ounces of AG1. I post about this stuff all the time and it's because I genuinely, hang on, I'm trying to sit you guys up here. <laughs> I think it's such an amazing product. It's a greens powder that you mix with about eight ounces of water. You take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and you wait about 10 minutes before you eat any food. The powder has 75 vitamins and minerals in it and it's all whole sourced superfoods. That's so hard to say. But it's helped so much with like bloating, digestion, gut health. It gives me so much energy throughout the day. So I always start my day with that and then I make my favorite green juice, that juicer. Literally, I've had it for so many years. It's game changer. I will link it down in the description box below. I get lots of questions on it, but I've been making this green juice every single morning, I think for about two years. It's probably less about the green juice than it is just like the routine and ritual of waking up every morning and being able to use my juicer. I love it so much. I should experiment with other juice recipes. I just really, really like this green one. And when I mix that morning master's powder in it, it like gives it this extra boost and a really nice flavor that just makes me feel like I've done something good with my life every morning. And then my breakfast is so simple. It's just two egg whites, two fried eggs. Sometimes I'll steam half of a zucchini just to get some veggies in the morning because I like veggies, like I eat veggies all the time, but I get so busy that sometimes throughout the day I forget to eat them. So I try to get as many in during breakfast as possible so I make sure I get all those key nutrients. Then I do one cup of berries. Usually it's like raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. Today I'm doing blackberries and these little containers are about one cup so I try to do about a cup of berries. This breakfast too, it's so simple, but literally I've been eating it every single morning for like the last three years. I think I've been doing this since college and I love it. Oh, then I got my vitamins in here. And then I always do some kind of tea. My favorite is just like a green tea. I love the Yogi Blueberry Green Tea Slim Life. So good. This I think is just a regular green tea, but I always do a scoop of collagen in there because that helps with like my nails and my hair and my skin. Bon appetit to me.
Okay, it's lunchtime now. I'm not super, super hungry, and I feel like I usually get to like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I still haven't eaten lunch because I've been working all day. So I typically do something quicker instead of making a full meal because I like to go more all out for dinner. So I think I'm gonna make a smoothie. If you've been keeping up, I just started this new thing called Follower Friday, where I make one of your smoothies on my TikTok. And so on my Instagram stories, I put a little question box where you can submit your smoothie recipe, and then every week I go through and pick a recipe and try one out, and it's so much fun i love trying your recipes we've done a couple so far and i'm bringing it back this week and so today i'm gonna make one from emma's creative corner so i need to get the things out of the freezer if you want me to make your smoothie make sure you're following me on instagram and look out for my submission box every week where you can submit your recipe so i can try your smoothie a little bit of milk. Okay, I gotta set my phone up because I'm filming this one for TikTok. One frozen banana. I'll break it up to make it easier on the blender. Some frozen mixed berries. I mean, she didn't say this, but I'm gonna do some frozen rice cauliflower because I like to sneak my veggies in and it just adds thickness and volume to your smoothie. Everyone's always like, ew, frozen rice cauliflower, that's gross. But literally, this stuff doesn't taste like anything, especially when it's frozen. And it's a really great way to get extra thickness and volume to your smoothie without adding extra sugar from fruits. And now we're gonna get some liquid in here. And she also didn't say this, but I'm gonna do a scoop of protein powder just because it's kind of acting as my lunch and I'm trying to get more protein in my diet. So this is definitely optional. You don't have to add these to your smoothies, but I like to do a scoop of some type of protein powder to give it a little bit more oomph. Mm. Okey Wow, such a beautiful color. Look at that. Oh, this is a thick one. Okay, now I have to be honest. The reason I chose this recipe this week is because she said she tops it with peanut butter and coconut flakes. And I was like, yes, please. That sounds amazing. So here we go. I love a good peanut butter blob on my smoothie. And finally, the coconut shreds. This is really good. It's like your classic berry smoothie. And then a little tropical with the coconut flakes on the top. I really like this. I think I'm also going to have some of this bunny butt cheese ball that I made last night. Yesterday was Easter and I had all my friends over and we made like a big Easter feast. And so I made this, literally look, it's a Funfetti cheese ball. Essentially it's like cream cheese, Funfetti cake mix, some sprinkles, you mix it all together and like make it into a ball, it's covered in coconut. And then you use graham crackers to like dip it and oh, it's so delicious. I love anything Funfetti, but I will link that recipe in the description. It's a recipe I made way back in college, so it's an old one, but it's so good. Okay, it's dinner time. I just made a plate of some chicken. We have roasted butternut squash, roasted cauliflower, and some mashed potatoes. I actually didn't cook any of this. Well, that's technically not true. I cooked it at different times throughout the week. I get so busy and I rarely have enough effort and energy to cook for myself after my work days. And so I try to meal prep once or twice a week where I'll make all my chicken or all my meats on like a Sunday or a day where I have extra time and then I'll keep them in a Tupperware and then I'll air fry some butternut squash and cauliflower usually and keep them all in Tupperware in my fridge so that it's super easy to pull them out put them on a plate and I've got a healthy, nutritious meal. I usually portion my plates by trying to do a handful size of protein, whether that's chicken, ground beef, steak, fish, something like that. And then I have about half of my plate is vegetables and then some kind of starchy carb. So yesterday was Easter and we had a big Easter feast and I have so many leftover mashed potatoes. Look at this Tupperware. And I typically don't eat potatoes. I don't know why they're just not my favorite vegetable. Um, but I'll probably be eating these for the rest of the week. If not that, I'll do something like brown rice or roasted sweet potatoes. Those are my favorites. Um, but yeah, this was a super easy dinner to put together. And I'm weird, I don't even heat it up. Something about leftovers, I just like them cold. Let me know down in the comments below if you like them cold or if you heat up your leftovers. But seriously, meal prepping is the only way that I eat throughout the week because if not, I would just get too lazy and probably eat cereal for dinner every night. I just got this new air fryer too. It looks like a giant Easy Bake oven. It's seriously so big and it has this grill setting where you can grill chicken and steak and it even puts the little grill marks on your chicken. That's how I've been cooking my chicken lately. And it's so good. Yeah. So easy and simple. We have now arrived at my favorite part of the day. 
snack time. I don't think there's many days that go by where I don't have a snack before I go to bed. Do I need a snack? No. Do I want a snack? Always. And today I actually have lots of snack options. I have ice cream. I've got some brownies that I made about a week ago. <laughs> and then yesterday for Easter, I made this giant cookie skillet. It was literally, I took the biggest cast iron skillet I own and I put cookie dough in it. And we basically dug out all the middle, but this was what was left over. And I just didn't have the heart to throw it in the garbage. So I put it in the Tupperware. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to eat, but I think tonight for my snack, I'm gonna do a little bit of this cookie with some ice cream. And then I'm gonna go sit in my butt in that couch over there and I'm gonna watch a movie before bed. Oh yeah, look at that. That just looks like heaven. I hope you enjoyed this video, seeing what I eat in a day. I feel like it's not that exciting, but let me know down in the comments what you thought. If you enjoy vlogs like these, if you wanna see more of them or any other thing you wanna see on my channel, your feedback is so helpful to me. So please leave a comment before you go. And thank you so much for watching this week. I love doing life with you and it truly means so much to have you here on this channel. The best and easiest way you can support me as a creator is giving this video a thumbs up, dropping a comment, and if you're not already, hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free and it means so much to me. Hope you have an amazing weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye.